Good morning, everybody, and welcome. It's early seven o'clock in the morning right now. We're at my brand new units that my team just finished furnishing. And this is a 20 unit deal that I wanna go over. The photographer is gonna be arriving any minute now. We have to make sure that everything's basically staged properly for photos, because as you guys know, photos are very, very important, especially now when it comes to that hero picture. So let me show you guys a new unit, talk about the deal, and show you a few things that you wanna stage your Airbnb in a specific way, just like I do. That way you can make sure your picture your hero pictures, or your photos stand out compared to the competition. Now this floor plan is a small space for a dining table. Given the square footage available, I probably should have gone a smaller dining table, which is what I plan to do for my next batch of units that are starting tomorrow. But because I ordered a larger size, we're gonna make do with it, and it is what it is. Now, for the dining table, you want it nice and clean. I personally like having area rugs under my dining tables now. Before I didn't, but I'm telling you, it's just worth it. Then right across the dining table, I always have some type of console table and mirror. Having a console table and mirror in front of the dining table or some type of wall art just really makes your dining table area stand out a lot more. Things like this, this trash can is fine to have there, but in your pictures, you have to make sure it's completely gone and it's not in your pictures whatsoever. Now, if you go over to the kitchen over here, this is a very standard, very minimalistic kitchen. It has everything you basically need. Remember, when you're taking photos, all the wires that show up behind your toaster, that show up behind your kettle, you wanna basically hide them all, right? Especially with your Keurig, unplug everything, hide all the wires. You don't want just a bunch of messy wires. This drying mat over here, remove it completely from the pics, put it in the cupboards, and then go ahead and take your pictures. You want a few wide angle shots and a few close-ups of the insides of the cabinets, like over here, how we have all the cups, all the plates, all the mugs. You wanna make sure you get a few close-up shots of that one as well. Then let's go over to the living room over here. This right here is the living room. If you noticed, a lot of my walls and all of my units have been a nice dark midnight blue. The reason why I've been doing that mainly is because for that hero picture. The hero picture for this unit is gonna be this entire living room area. If you take a look at the accents that I use, the colors that I use, when you're scrolling on Airbnb and you have hundreds of listings that you have to go through, what's gonna pop out more? A hundred apartments that all have white walls and white backgrounds, or an apartment that is dark, that has some type of accent walls in it, has accent pillows, that has more of a darker nature, right? So my apartments pop up a lot more to people, when especially they're viewing on Airbnb and they're just browsing. So if you're browsing, my units are gonna pop up to you psychologically more than anybody else's because of the dollar colors that I'm using. I'm always painting the accent wall behind the sofa and the accent wall on the actual TV itself. So this TV wall over here is in nice midnight blue as well. It matches with the wall right across with the fireplace. We didn't do any TV stands for this unit. We just mounted the TVs right above the fireplace and that's pretty much the entire living room area. Now, area rugs. Generally, you wanna get a five by seven area rug if you have a small living room, but for me specifically, I like to get the 10 by sevens, 10 by eights, sometimes even 13 by tens, depending on how big the space is, how many people I'm sleeping. So for this one, we got a 10 by seven, uh, and under the dining table, we got a five by seven. It can run you anywhere from $200 to $300 for a nice good area rug. These are not the cheap ones. These are very good high quality area rugs from Costco. So make sure you're spending money on these things because they actually matter. Now this over here is an accent chair. Now this accent chair here is a dupe of the real original Eames accent chair. That accent chair is about $7,000. The dupe from Amazon is only $600, almost $700, $800. And all honestly, it looks the exact same. And I can't even tell the difference between the two, to be honest. Now we're in the second bedroom. In the second bedroom, as you guys know, in my two bedroom units, I always try to put two beds. Whether it be two bunk beds or two full beds, or even two queen beds, we always have to have at least a minimum of two beds in one of the bedrooms at the very least. Now in this unit, we can't do bunk beds. There's not enough ceiling space. So we just did regular full-size beds. I couldn't do queen. It was not gonna fit. It was gonna be way too big. So we just did a full bed and it fit perfectly with one nightstand in the middle. Now, if you take a look, accent walls painted on all the walls in the bedrooms, specifically behind the headboards, same with matching artwork. And it just looks a lot nicer. And then you have your one TV mounted to the wall right in front of the beds. Now we're gonna go to the master bedroom and I'll come and show you guys this. So this is basically the master bedroom. You have your regular bed frames, your accent wall painted in the background. You wanna make sure you have your desk, your desk chair, your TV, your nightstand lamps, and then you wanna have a nice big mirror. And the mirror that we have is right on this wall over here. So make sure your master bedroom has all these things. And that's pretty much all you need. As long as you have a closet, you don't need to spend money on a dresser, you don't need to spend money on a bench. It's not really needed. 
personally, in my opinion, I have done those things and I haven't seen a huge difference in revenue and occupancy. So I just basically do with what works and not tend to spend more than I have to. So this entire deal is a 20 unit deal. I negotiated six weeks free. Originally this building owner called me about, you know, about a year and a half ago and showed me the building and all the apartments were pretty old, they're pretty danky and they just, they sucked. And I told him honestly, I don't really want any apartments here. They're all old apartments. So he said, that's not a problem. I'm planning to renovate half the building. I said, when they're all renovated, then give me a call. We can negotiate and make a deal happen. So fast forward a year and a half later, finally, half the building's renovated and he gave me about 20 apartments, six weeks free, uh, I think a $200 security deposit, and that's pretty much it. So let me tell you the numbers on these units though. This is in Michigan, but it's not in Detroit. Uh, it's actually Northern Michigan. So if you go to Northern Michigan, not sure many of you have been, there's a whole different like area that people go to. Uh, there's a lot of vacation spots. There's a lot of stuff to do up in Northern Michigan. So in this area, numbers are really good, specifically in the summer. In the winter time, they don't really make much money, but that's okay because I'm already in the East Coast for the majority of my markets, I'm already used to it. But I will tell you, the numbers themselves are really good. So the average rents I'm paying right now for a two bedroom apartment is about $1,850 to $1,900. The average revenue for an entire year, if you annualize it per month, is around $4,500. Each of these units will be making a net profit after cleaning fee, utilities, expenses, after everything, around $2,000 to $1,800 in net profit per unit per month. So on my 20 units, that's around $40,000 in net profit a month, or it's almost $500,000 in net profit per year. My total cost is I'm spending around $8,000 for furniture, labor, photography, staging, painting per unit. So $8,000 times 20 units, I spent $160,000 just to furnish this batch of 20. October just finished and I pretty much broke my personal best record. I finished the month of October at 1.28, almost $1.3 million. $1.3 million in the last 30 days. I've done almost $6 million in revenue in the last six months alone from May all the way till now, October. November, I'm entering with about 370 units. We have about right now 20 to 25 units that are being furnished in about three different cities. I'll get to 400 units by the end of November. And then December and January, I'm not doing anything. I'm not expanding, I'm not furnishing, I'm not building out any apartments whatsoever. I'm basically stacking cash for the winter and making sure I have enough cash left over to furnish my 100 apartments that are gonna be starting in February. I'm flying out to Philadelphia tomorrow to close a big deal that I've been working on over the last eight months, an entire 72 unit brand new construction development in Philly. I negotiated six weeks free a $200 security deposit per unit. And on top of that, it's a multi-year three to five year lease with only a 1% rent increase per year, which is great because a lot of times if the rental market does go back up in two years, three years, I'm only gonna be paying a 1% increase rather than some buildings raising a 10%, 5%. That deal alone is gonna put me almost at 500 units. So at 500 units, making around $3,000 a month, starting in March, I'll be doing about $1.5 million a month. June, July, I'll be doing maybe even 1.8, 1.9, maybe even $2 million a month, who knows? We'll see really how the summer goes. But for right now, we're pretty much finishing off all the new projects that I've been working on, all the commitments that I made to building owners, all the units we're furnishing. This is basically the last batch. December, January, we're not furnishing anything. We're just focusing on operations, dialing down. I'm gonna go on vacation, I'm gonna go to Dubai, I'm gonna go to Turkey, get a second hair transplant, and go to Saudi for a little bit. And then I'm gonna have a nice vacation, get energized, get refreshed, come back and tackle 100 units in three, four weeks with my entire team. So I hope you see you guys there. I hope you follow along for the journey and watch as I scale this business, not to 1 million a month, because I've already done it. Now watch me scale it to $2 million a month and follow along for the journey. If you like my content, you can follow me on Instagram where I post the daily life, the behind the scenes of a real eight-figure Airbnb entrepreneur. My Instagram is Hamza Zafar. My TikTok is Hamza Zafar BNB. My Twitter is Zafar BNB. And follow me as I post the daily life, the daily behind the scenes of a real eight-figure Airbnb entrepreneur.